Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be successful in business by reading five books that really changed my life, that really took me to a successful level, that if I had read these books sooner, I would have been successful much faster. That's why I'm sharing these with you. I read these books, I took a lot of notes on each one of them, and they really changed my life. They made me successful by helping me establish good habits, um, overcome the problems like procrastination, um, problems with doubting my abilities, um, getting the mental game down, as well as strategies that help you build a good business. And the first book I want to recommend to you is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill has over 15 million print copies sold and that's not even including Kindle and audiobook versions. Um, as a quick note, I recommend this app here called Natural Reader Text to Speech. If you want to listen to a Kindle version of a book or an ebook version of it and listen to it as an audiobook without having to pay the full price for an audiobook or have to get a subscription like Audible. This does it for you. They have a free and a paid version, but either way, it's a very good app. I've found that um, turns an ebook into an actual audiobook. And the e and the ebook tends to be the cheapest version of a book. Uh, for instance, Think and Grow Rich. All of these are less than $8, of course, on Amazon, but most books that I'm going to mention are probably closer to $10 or $15 for each one, and the audiobook version tends to be one of the most expensive versions. So if you want to save a little money and listen to audiobooks, I recommend this app. It's on both Android and um, Apple devices, but Think and Grow Rich really one of the most successful business books of all time written by Napoleon Hill who studied the most successful people in the world for 25 years before writing this book and it's really incredible some of the things that he covers in this book that will really help you if you want to just know exactly how it's going to help you if you look at the contents he covers you know, the steps to riches and all of that. It's um, 13 steps to riches. And he breaks it down into chapters. Things like goal setting. How successful people set goals and how all of them know how to set goals. Uh, desire. All successful people have a burning desire to succeed and are constantly thinking about it. He talks about um, visualization of yourself attaining what you desire or achieving that goal. He talks about auto-suggestion, basically that self-talk, what kind of things are you putting into your own mind, into your subconscious mind. Um, we can't control our subconscious mind, but we can control our conscious mind. What are you telling yourself that is helping or hurting you? He teaches you about that. He talks about specialized knowledge, how you need to constantly be learning from mentors, from courses, from books and just constantly educating yourself in your field. That's what successful people do. Chapter 6, he talks about imagination, how you constantly should be stretching your imagination and coming up with creative ways to use it instead of just sticking by the book and just doing what everyone else does. You should be using your unique skills and your new unique ways of thinking about things. Number chapter seven, he talks about planning. You need to learn how to plan for a process that will help you succeed instead of just having a goal with no plan. Chapter eight, he talks about the decision and making firm decisions that help you succeed. Persistence, you need to learn how to adapt and overcome all those bumps in the road that you're going to cover. Uh, you need to be able to master your mind. You need to understand why you think the way you think and kind of look at it from a uh, third person perspective. Why are you thinking the thoughts that you're thinking and how can you change that? 
Um, you need to learn how to use your emotional ties to um, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, to um, use that energy, that passion to make you more successful. He talks about that in chapter 11. Chapter 12, he talks about the subconscious mind and the link to that and how that affects your success. And he also talks about um, the inputs and the outputs from your mind, uh, what kind of things you should put into your mind to avoid negative thinking, avoid negative people, avoid a lot of news and things like that. Um, that's kind of a trend of successful people. He talks about also wisdom and fear, what causes fear of failure, what causes people to fail, those types of things. So he covers a lot in this book, and it's one of those that will just change your life. Number two is the four-hour work week. So this is more of a modern book. It's more geared towards probably an online business. He talks about creating a muse. It's by Tim Ferriss. You may have heard of him. He has a very successful podcast. He's like a four-time best-selling author. Um, he's also written the 4-Hour Body, 4-Hour Chef, and the Tools of Titans books. So you might want to check those out as well. But this book is all about just finding ways to basically life hack your way to working less and making more money and traveling and enjoying life like the rich do. So if you look at his actual contents, and he also gives a lot of tools, a lot of links throughout the book that I really enjoyed. You know, most books don't do that, but he gives you tools that you can use, whether it's apps, whether it's services, software, um, that you can use to build your business. So that's another thing I loved about this book, something you'll probably love as well. But he talks about uh, doubters, different things that people have said about the book, different quotes. He uses a lot of quotes that you'll probably remember that really describe content well. Um, one of the things this book is built on is a quote by Mark Twain, which says, if you ever find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. It's basically about going your own way, starting your own business, and working less and achieving more. So it really helps with productivity. Uh, he, he divides it up into four sections that spell out the word deal. So D is for definition, E is for elimination, A is for automation, and L is for liberation. So in the first section, he these four chapters talk about defining what you want, setting your goals, filling out, uh, doing things like dreamlining where you figure out exactly how to make your dreams a reality, what kind of lifestyle you want, how much will that actually cost. So you're basically defining what you want, what kind of business you would want, how much time, how much free time you want to have, where you want to live, and things like that. So section two, elimination. This is where you basically eliminate all the clutter from your life that is taking up your time, that is um, messing with your head, things like news, things like too many possessions, things like people that are bringing you down, those types of things that um, could be holding you back, how to eliminate those. Section three is about automation. So he teaches you how to basically put a business together and automate it to where you only have to work a few hours a week, whether it's through freelancers, through employees, through software. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it, and he gives you a lot of tools for it, basically creating passive income. And the other section, section four, is about liberation, which basically helps you to travel the world like the rich do without paying top dollar. Um, you can live off of, you know, an average salary from your business and have the time and the resources to do whatever you want around the world. He talks about doing that, um, how to escape your job or how to make your job more mobile so that you can work from home more if you want to keep your job, how to take many retirements instead of waiting till you're old, those types of things. 
So it's a really interesting book, and he gives you a lot. You can just see some of the different articles that go with this, some of the different tools that he gives out, and um, it's really a very helpful book for the modern era of starting a business and living life on your terms. Number three is Awaken the Giant Within. So this is kind of a short book, which is nice because most of these books are like three or four hundred pages and take a while. But, you know, especially when you're taking notes, it's nice to have a short book here and there. But Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. We've all heard of Tony Robbins. He's one of the best um, at getting people results and mastering the mental side of what makes us happy, what makes relationships work, what makes us successful, and things like that. He's worked with athletes, he's worked with movie stars, he's worked with presidents, and he knows how to get people results. He knows how our minds work. So when I read this book, it really had a big impact on me as far as changing habits, changing the way I thought about things, um, building confidence within yourself, things like that. You can get it on Amazon, of course. They have pretty much any version you would like on here. And as far as breaking down the contents of this book, he has a few parts, and they're short chapters. Don't worry about how many chapters there are. It's very short compared to a lot of books. And part one is about unleashing your power, basically figuring out decisions, what do you want, um, how to um, get rid of what's blocking your success, what is um, the problem with your self-talk, the things that you're telling yourself that are wrong, what is messing with your beliefs, why do you believe what you believe, and is that helping you or not. Part two, mastering the system, which is basically some strategies for figuring out exactly how to make changes to your life and how to keep yourself on track, how to, um, you know, go to that next level mentally. Part three, seven days to shape your life. So basically he gives you a step-by-step seven-day um, strategy that will allow you to always come back to a foundation that allows you to be successful, whether it's in relationships, health, business, etc. And he shows you strategies that you can use to do that. And then he talks about, you know, what one person can do. He's a big believer in giving to others, and he always challenges you to, you know, help others as well, join his foundation and things like that. So it's a great book. It's all about mental strategies, which is the biggest part of your success is just getting out of your own way and that's what that book covers number four eat that frog so eat that frog is basically about how to stop procrastinating and Brian Tracy a very successful uh, self-development teacher gives you 21 different strategies that you can use um, things like getting your most important task out of the way first um, ranking what needs to be done that day in order of importance. Um, just doing different strategies like that. It's divided up into a lot of short chapters. So if you want to just kind of do a chapter a day, it won't take you very long. And it's definitely great for just being more productive as a person. So you can get it here on Amazon. They have it hardcover, Kindle, paperback, all that stuff. Um, as far as the contents goes, it's talking about how to plan, how to apply the 80-20 rule, how to uh, convince yourself that the consequences of not getting something done are worse than getting it done, um, using a way to rank what's most important, focusing on uh, the key result areas that actually get results. Uh, forced efficiency talks about how to prepare thoroughly before you get started to streamline your work, um, doing your homework, using your special talents instead of your weaknesses, your key constraints, what's holding you back, 
He talks about doing things one step at a time, taking the pressure off yourself, maximizing uh, your personal powers, which is your, you know, main skills, what you're naturally good at, motivating yourself, um, pro creative procrastination, in other words, create procrastinating on the things that are not productive, um, doing the hardest task first, um, slicing up a big task into smaller chunks, um, creating big blocks of time where you can do nothing but work, have a sense of urgency to where you always um, convince yourself that you have to get this done before a certain timeline, and single handle every task instead of multitasking. These are types of strategies that he covers in this book and how to do them. And it's just very effective for being a productive person instead of somebody who constantly puts things off. It's a big part of your success. And the last but not least is The Power of Habit. This is written by Charles Duhigg, and it will teach you how habits shape your business, how basically what you do on a day-to-day -day basis is going to cover pretty much everything that has to do with your success in all parts of your life, not just business. You can get it on Amazon. These are all the uh, ways that you can consume this book. And the contents, if you want to break it up, it has a few different parts. The first is the habits of individuals. So he gives a lot of examples of basically what people do and why they do it and how the brain works. Number two, successful organizations. So he talks about examples of how organizations turn themselves around. He uses Starbucks as an example, how Target learned to uh, sell more products, um, different things like that, or how to, how to focus on one key habit to where it um, even changes all your other habits into good ones. It's another thing he covers. The habits of societies, so how people look at others, how relationships work, how neurology works. Um, are we responsible for what we do? How much do habits affect us? So he talks about how to be successful, gives you examples of how others have done it, and how to make it a habit. So a habit basically means that what you're doing to be successful becomes automatic and you don't even have to think about it anymore. So that's what the most successful people do. They make habits that they can do daily, automatically, and it gets them the results they need. So those are the five books I recommend. The Power of Habit, um, Eat That Frog, Awaken the Giant Within, the four hour work week and think and grow rich. If you read those five books and you understand them and you take some notes on them, I guarantee you will get much better results as a person and as a business owner. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you um, learned about some books, maybe that could help you, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you and help you out and give you more advice to help you build a business, be successful in many different ways. Um, if there are some other books that you recommend that helped you a lot or you want to just let me know what you thought about this video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. I'm always looking to improve these videos for you. And all of the show notes, all of the content I mentioned, all of the links and resources and related content to this video will be on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com. You can go there to find that under the video title or you can find it in the description of the YouTube video in the first couple sentences. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.